hey it's recording uh, I had a problem with this uh, you know Google connecting or YouTube connecting to the server whatever so you know now I've forgotten what my quick response was going to be um, yeah the, the you know you, I sort of get what you're talking about but um, I don't want to sound like a lawyer but doesn't life have kind of a definitive description I mean you know a definition I mean it uh, oscillating is okay but that's not a self-contained reproducing organism or or not organism but you know you get my point um, and, and so if, if it I, you know I'm not saying you know I don't know I, I mean I, I don't I don't know if it matters too much you know how how wide that range of what constitutes a living thing and what doesn't is but I think it's narrower than um, you know reactive soup and um, reproducing um, self-contained organism so or, or I don't know is there a word for that what would you call well anyway um, to me the more like intriguing question is exploring the probability of that creation you know that um, that step that life had to take you know to get to that you know the, the first step the, the reproducing the capacity to reproduce because obviously once it has that capacity then it just requires it to have the ability to screw up I mean basically you're talking about evolution is just having the ability to change you know for for there to be mistakes you know caused by radiation or whatever you know natural sunlight whatever whatever kind of influences that might screw up an organism just a little bit uh, so that when it reproduces itself it reproduces a flaw a change and um, so so but but what's the probability of getting to that step I mean what you know because people talk about life in the universe you know and and uh, well it's got to be inevitable it's there's no you know there's just so many zillions of stars and planets and all this stuff that it must be inevitable that life has formed on other planets and um, the problem is is that I don't know how unlikely um, the first reproducing organism was I mean if I suggested it uh, required lightning to strike in the same exact location 700 times in a row um, that would sound like oh, nearly impossible and then I could just change the number and say no it was 7,000 times in a row or some other preposterous thing and it just I mean ultimately it, this takes you down the road where you have to say well what is you know I mean if the universe exists and let's say life is an improbability you know that matter just exists and it does this thing and it does this thing forever where it, whatever it's doing expanding contracting whatever the universe is doing and let's say life isn't even consciousness you know all this stuff isn't never even happens and so when the human race is finished you know when our matter gets reconsolidated um, <clears throat> maybe there never will be another intelligent thing in the universe I mean it's possible but even that question is just so hard to find any way to, to, to get your brain around the purpose in this either way I mean what's you know um, uh, I didn't want to make this long I mean you know I just wanted to sort of get your input on what um, you know you think of that probability I mean you know you seem more knowledgeable about the details of the science than I am ability of getting over that reproducing hump and <laughs> that's kind of a funny uh, play on words um, 
you know, but the, you know, like I said, it does it does leave you. I mean, just wondering what matter. Uh, you know, I mean, you, there's no God. I mean, there's obviously no evidence of intelligent intervention. And um, but it just seems so bizarre that life goes through all this crap for no purpose. I mean, you know, the planet Earth with just living things on it that had no intelligence. And you, would you, would you say that was a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, when you look at it, if you look at life with no humanity on the planet Earth and just say it was going to be like that forever, so would you just have some lions and tigers at the top of the food chain? and everything else is just food you know <laughs> and um you know, it's almost like different you know species of parasite is all everything is i mean we're just decomposing each other uh, you know i mean uh, if we were part of that but i'm saying without intelligence um would this be something if you were looking at it if you were a, a visitor from another galaxy or universe or whatever and you looked at this planet would you feel good or bad about what was going on there i mean would it seem a blight and um, something not good so anyway i you know i, I just wanted to react to the, 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 the concept of life having a definition, I mean, a definitive um, description of what constitutes a living thing, and I think the capacity to reproduce itself has to be part of that definition, so I just wanted to throw that in to what you were talking about and try to understand how you account for um, that distinction.